Hello everyone, I welcome to part 91 of Laravel 9 series in which we are continuing the multi vendor e-commerce website. So we are going to do uh, product zoom uh, for our product detail page and uh, for that uh, there is one plugin uh, that we are going to download and that is the easy zoom plugin. Okay, so we can search this easy zoom Laravel plugin and here uh, we can straight away uh, one second easy zoom uh yeah this one this one we can simply search easy zoom and here you will get okay this is the link for the easy zoom and we are going to download this one uh the very easy plugin uh, plugin that we can integrate for our detail page it will not take much time here you can see it will work like this okay so we can in integrate any kind of plugin okay so i'm going to integrate the first one okay so let's download it and uh, after that open it in your browser uh, see straight away we can open this index.html uh, uh, this one so we can uh, see I can close the other files only detail blade file you need to open so this index.html I am going to open this one so there are some files that we are required like easy zoom.css file uh, that we will download download that we will copy to our Laravel and easy zoom dot js file as well that we require as well that we will also copy this one is already exists for our e-commerce website so this is not required if we if this file does not exist then we will copy this file as well okay and this script also we will copy okay and uh, the script that we are going to do uh, we are going to do this one easy zoom with thumbnails this one so let's straight away uh, copy the required files like CSS CSS from CSS I'm going to copy this easy zoom dot CSS so I'm going to uh, keep in my folder public uh, front CSS and here I can keep this easy zoom dot CSS and now I will open the JS folder and in JS I'm going to keep the JS file I'm going to pick the JS file from this folder easy zoom dot JS this one I will copy here okay so uh, once I will copy both the files uh, after that uh, I am going to add these files in our uh, layout.blade.php wherever we have added these files I am going to copy there okay we are going to check here see front layout here so here like uh, for the CSS I am going to copy this one and we'll paste here and here i am going to mention here zoom okay here i am going to add uh, the easy zoom dot css both the names are same i am going to mention it easy zoom dot css and for the js file as well i am going to copy like this and will paste it like this and here i can also mention the zoom and here the name is once again easy zoom i can simply write it as well okay so after that we are also going to copy the other uh, script uh, that is uh, here okay this script we are going to copy so i'm going to copy this one as well and we'll keep in uh, after layout here okay so after copy this one required uh, fields then uh, we are going to modify the detail blade file now is the time to update the zoom here we have already copied the required files so here i'm going to check my zoom here it is so i'm going to replace this zoom with my uh, this one new zoom uh, <coughs> so uh, for that i will check again uh, once again index.html now we will go there where i'm saying you this one thumbnail this one this zoom with thumbnail images this zoom uh, you can also check here which uh, with thumbnail images you can see here with thumbnail images this zoom i'm going to integrate this zoom okay because i'm integrating this zoom because here you can see uh, it is operating like this okay it will work with multiple images you can see okay so it works really well you can see here it is really beautiful zoom and uh, here we require the same way like if you will click here the zoom must work fine here you can see the issue with the earlier zoom it is not uh, working fine here you can see the only the first t-shirt is coming in zoom that uh, is not working correctly so we are going to integrate this one that is uh, work perfectly and even work better than the last one okay so here uh, the main image main image this is the div for the main image 
this is div for this image so we are going to replace it uh, with our div this one with the classes we are going to replace so i'm going to replace this one like this okay and after that uh, the internal uh, here uh, this one i'm going to copy this one and we'll paste it here so that uh, we can uh, simply uh, re uh, replace this href with our code we can copy our uh, source from here and can place it here okay so here we can simply mention the large file large file is already there that is fine and in image source as well we will uh, copy this one once again here width and height we have the common width and height like 500 okay you can check this one uh, here we will give the medium size you can check in your products controller uh, if you want to check add edit product okay here you can go and check uh the size is here you can see the medium side here we will give the medium side of the product okay so now we will also modify uh, this one as well uh we are going to comment the first image and i'm going to do with this one so here once again i'm going to check the thumbnails here the thumbnails will come so you can see this one class we are going to uh, add this class uh okay uh, in place of this uh, one we are going to replace it uh, with our own class that is the class thumbnails okay so once again uh, we are going to copy from there and then we will replace here i'm going to copy uh, this a tag okay a, a, a h3 tag i'm going to copy and we'll paste here then we are going to uh, replace it in this same way like we have done earlier okay here i'm going to copy this one okay and replace it here actually the first one and uh, make sure uh, that we will do in a right way uh, large that is fine and in standard in standard we are going to show the small okay i'm going to copy again and here we are going to show the small okay and in image source in image source uh, we are going to copy this one once again we have already copied so we can paste it okay here also we are going to show the small one once again uh, okay uh, we can show the small one here also like this here we will give the width and height as well like uh, we'll give 150 width and 150 height okay I'm going to copy that one once again and we'll paste it here like this and now we can copy this one here we can check uh, large uh, fine data standard then small here small must come then after that image source and here small must come once again okay and here also uh, we will give the width height as 150 let's check it uh, what's happening here okay so here you can see some issues are coming we need to resolve uh, we will remove uh, the unwanted this one this one we can remove we have already replaced this one you can see uh, front product images here we can remove this one okay now and also width height we are going to mention here as well now we can 
check once again and here you can see uh, here it is working fine and I am going to click on this one let's see but uh, see it is not working uh, so uh, we can remove this one as well and now what we can do uh, we can pick this div and take it outside this uh, zoom okay outside of this div now we are going to check once again and refresh it and let's see uh, yeah it is working fine you can see that we able to zoom the required image like this one the second one okay see this one this one is also fine and the second one is also fine and the third one is also fine okay so we can zoom the image that we require okay so it is working fine uh, you can able to zoom the image uh, what I can do uh, I can download one more t-shirt here red t-shirt okay then uh, see we'll zoom that image as well we can able to know that we able to zoom it correctly or not uh, just for testing purpose I am downloading this image save image uh, okay I'm going to save this one and now I'm going to add this one uh, from the editing panel to see whether the zoom is working fine or not okay and I'm going to check it now straight away and here uh, so let's check from the admin panel and I'm going to close this one and we'll open the products uh, where it is products and one image I'm going to add here uh, check the ID it's the second ID okay so I'm going to add one more image in the alternate images okay here uh, alternate images is here uh, this one okay so here I'm going to add one more image uh, okay so here I'm going to add this one submit and now I'm going to refresh this one once again and here you can see the another image has come up here I'm going to click on this one see image replaced and it is zoom the correct one is coming here okay so it is working fine and only the thing is that we require some spacing here uh, so uh, we will give some uh, style margin uh, to uh, so that it will look uh, some margins required between like 30 pixel margin i will give and i will also do uh, here instead of 150 i am going to give here 120 okay uh, where else i have given the 150 i'm going to see okay nowhere else so it seems to be fine here okay now refresh once again and here you can see so it is working perfectly it is looking perfect okay you can see zoom is working very fine the image you click is zooming okay so uh, the, uh, see earlier only one image is zooming the first one but here whatever image you click that will zoom that you can able to zoom okay so you can integrate this zoom uh, as I have defined you. Okay, you can take these steps for the zooming of the image in any of these website, not only in Laravel, but you can uh, in integrate the, this script in any of your uh, website. Okay, so that's all for now. Have a nice time. Goodbye.